Oh, you could do a movie. Yeah, yeah. Hello, um, Victoria. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, I'm calling on behalf of Kim.com, and and we would like to have all of our stuff back. Um, would that be possible to you know get back as soon as po you know within the week? Oh, oh, it's not. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. Um. All right then. Okay. All right, bye. So, Braden, what just happened? Who did you call? Um, I called Victoria Espinal. At the intellectual property. At the intellectual property office, and of the uh, White House. Of the White House, yeah. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that. As it turns out. As it turns out. Um, they like stole a bunch of innocent people's stuff. They, like just destroyed it. Aren't all people innocent? Well, they, you know, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty, and uh, a lot of people's data was destroyed as a part of this invasion and attack on another company's web server. On technology. On technology, yeah. It was like going back in time or something like that. Like innovation has become forbidden. Forbidden. Like you yeah. cannot evolve. You cannot, you know, go forward. You cannot progress. We must stay in 1970. So are you going to take a coach and buggy to uh, Washington, D.C.? <laughs> or maybe ride your, your pony across the desert I've, to, to I've, tell I'll, them? I'll, I'm in the process. There's this website where you can, you can, get, um, you can get horses yeah. for rent. You, yeah. They have them parked on the side of the road. Yeah. And you just get a key and like you unlock the horse. But when you write your letters, will you write them by candlelight? When you write the White House about their intellectual property? Yes, we use we use quill pens. Quill pens. We've used quill pens. And um and candlelight. So, do you consider the fax machine an act of cyber terrorism? Yes, the the, the fax machine is 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 uh you know, we, we, it's just we, we can't handle this kind of innovation. Like, it's we need to ha we need to support the regular post office. You know, like we cannot like have people just electronically sending these files instantaneously across the world. Like, we need to pay the people on horses to deliver them very slowly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, think about their jobs. You or know? the people who make the feathers, who pluck the feathers out of the birds. Are the birds living or dead when the feathers are plucked out of them for the quill for the letter to Congress? You know, I didn't ask that question, but uh, I think we'll, we'll have... Put that we'll in your next letter. Yeah, Send it on the pony over to D.C. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs>